Hi, welcome to my video. So in this video here, I'm going to be showing you guys the Corsair K65 Mini. This is a 60% keyboard. Um, it's using Cherry MX Silver. I'll just pop off this cap here. Ah. No. So, I'm not sure if you can see it, but those are silver switches. Ah, okay, I'm gonna put this cap back on. Okay. <laughs> so it, it did ha it does have an escape key, but this was a spare key that came with the key uh, with the keyboard, and uh, it's a little course air logo. Logo. There's a little course air logo on the side here on the top. It has a USB uh, C Type C cable. So uh, let's say this cable, like let's say you have a keyboard and the cable is damaged, you can always repair it with the wires and stuff. But with this keyboard, you can just get an, another USB to USB Type C cable and plug it in, just like an Xbox controller. And uh, it should say, yeah. K65. Yeah, I know this camera is not focusing too well. Probably the lighting. So what a 60% keyboard is, is that it highly shrinks down the keyboard. So it takes off, you know, like the arrow keys, the, you know, page up and down, home end key, and the numpad key. So basically you look at the desk, it's a very small keyboard. It's much designed for gaming. Since it doesn't have the F keys, it does have the F keys, but you gotta use the function key for these to turn into F keys. You gotta use the function key to, you'll see there's arrows. So U is up, J is down, H is uh, left, <laughs> and K is right. So you just hold the function key. And since the keyboard is very small, you can just take your thumb and just basically, you know, up, down. Um, so since, you know, we don't use the arrow keys when you even game, so, you know, WASD will work fine on this keyboard, especially with Diablo, the, you know, the, the skill keys. It's uh, very reachable. So if I want to play this with Diablo, this, this would be actually a very good keyboard compared to this one, well, this one wouldn't be too bad. This is, I think, a 75% keyboard. It does have the arrow keys and, you know, the home and page up and down. This does not have that. And it's really made compact. And there's no uh, stands. It's just basically kind of made like a Commodore keyboard in a way. But very small. And um, I, I watch a lot of reviews on this keyboard and uh, people they complain about it feeling hollow to me it feels pretty solid it types good and honestly maybe i just never really had well-made 300 dollars type keyboards but for me as a you know i buy this is probably the most expensive keyboard i ever bought i thought i broke this keyboard but i didn't i was pretty bummed out. I actually unplugged it and thought it was not working properly. But it turns out that when I plug it back in, it works perfectly fine. So it's a good keyboard. <laughs> I was actually really happy because um, I thought $158 went down the drain because that's, that's how much I pay for this keyboard. And yeah, it's quite expensive. But you're paying it for the Asus brand. Asus mouse. This is a Corsair setup since it's a Corsair PC. That's the new GPU I bought. I didn't re I didn't review it, but that's the Asus uh, 
you know, RTX 4060, NVIDIA, GeForce, RTX. Very nice GPU, very quiet. Compared to my RX 6600, that thing was pretty noisy. The MSI card I had in here. Yeah, that GPU was very noisy. This one is very quiet. Works really well. I also ordered um, uh, an Asus Dual NVIDIA RTX 3060 white card, which I will do an unboxing review on it. I should get it later, it says Tuesday, but hopefully I get it tomorrow. That would be awesome. But yeah, so this thing, this thing, this Asus B350F, which has a bunch of Final Fantasy 14 stickers on it. Um, it will be upgraded again with uh, Asus RTX 3060 graphic card. And I will do an unboxing. And I will be popping this inside this computer. Right now it's running a GTX 1660, which I don't really care too much for it. But this is a very good graphic card. I got a good price on it as well. And um, yeah, Asus. But pretty much this computer is all Corsair part, Corsair fan, Corsair case, um, like Corsair cooler is what I meant to say, Corsair memory, and Corsair peripherals. Yeah, this here is more of a Asus theme, even though this is a Asus motherboard, Asus graphic card as well. This will also have an Asus graphic card, NVIDIA, with, uh, it's, it's also an Asus motherboard, but has Asus peripherals as well. These are actually really, really my favorite mouse and keyboard. I like it. Well, I, I quite like this keyboard as well. I find it actually types better than the Ritz. I actually like the silver switches. It just feels more smoother, more, speedy like a little bit more faster and nothing wrong with the cherry mx red but i do find the silver feel quite quite, quite good on this keyboard the typing is quite good i really like it i really like the key cap on this i really like the light on this this is very very nice light i find the space bar is good they actually even give you a spare space bar that looks just like this like a normal space bar and it also had the, the normal uh, escape key. I just put the uh, Corsair key because there's no other like logo brand in that this is a Corsair keyboard, but I'm sure a gamer look at this keyboard, they know right away it's a Corsair keyboard, even if they didn't see the logo. So yeah, it's very Corsair style. And yeah, it's really, it's pretty good. It's a really solid keyboard. I like the, the very simplicity of it. It's very basic, very small, and very good for gaming. Very good for Irish symmetric ARPG gaming. This is a pretty cool card, a card. Keyboard, thinking of graphic cards all the time here. Anyways, yeah, once I do get the RTX 3060 GPU, I'm gonna show you that card. That's a really nice card. Uh, I, w I definitely wanna do an unboxing on that card. For sure. <laughs> I don't know you guys. Thanks for the watch. Cheers.